Hey, good morning everybody. Pat Ziemer here with Dr. Brandon DeWeese uh, for the MagnaWave office hours on this Tuesday morning. We're late this morning. Imagine that. We've been late before, but typically we get here a little sooner than this. But I'm glad to be here this morning and uh, we're going to answer any questions that you may have. And I want to show you a, a new device uh, that we brought into the line that, that you might be interested in hearing about and uh, talking about a little bit. Also, I want you to know that if you'd like to call us, if you have any questions, all you have to do is dial 5 502-599-9722 and we'd be happy to answer your questions uh, at that point about what we're going to talk about or anything else if you would like to, uh, to call in or you can put your questions in the chat box here on the Facebook page and they'll come up we'll be able to show them and discuss them uh, as we go along at that point there's my phone beeping about something going on let me turn it off there we go so we got that taken care of anyway Dr. Brandon glad to be here I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I'm glad to be I'm, here. I'm glad you're here too. <laughs> I almost ran out of gas on the way this morning. That's one of the reasons I was late. I, uh, the thing started beeping and going off on me. But um, so, you, tell us a little bit about yourself, and uh, we're going to get into the to the uh, Wave Oasis here another, on another one, another video. But tell us about yourself, being your background, and how it's going to going to relate to what we're going to discuss this morning. So, I've been a chiropractor since uh, 1999. And I went to Life West Chiropractic College, and I used to. I fo my focus was postural uh, restoration, and then I got more into the energy uh, side of things. And uh, I was working with lasers, and then I met you, and I under I started to learn more about uh, how well this um, PEMF works. And so I've been working uh, with PMF now for quite a while and it's seen wonderful results and keep learning more and more uh, is, is th that's what keeps me interested in. There's so much to it. Sure. And just to be to also bring you up to speed a little bit for those of you who have not met Dr. Brandon before, uh, Dr. Brandon is behind the uh, what we call the Wave Oasis massaging bed. Uh, it's a bed that you can lay on and it gives you a very deep massage as, at the same time as having music that is uh, frequency directed music for depression or for uh, stimulation, that type of thing. So it's a, it's a total immersion experience and we've also implemented or in integrated PEMF into the beds as well. Yes. And uh, so that's worked out incredibly well to have the PEMF, the vibration, and the music at the same time for body health and body health and wellness. So that's where Dr. Brandon and I come along. And then this new device that we're going to be bringing out, it's the NeuroWave uh, B2 Body and Brain. So it supplies various uh, modes of signal for relaxation and so forth. I'll let Dr. Brandon describe that a little bit, a little bit more as we get into it. Again, if you have any questions, please. Uh, put them into the uh, chat box and at, at that point let's kind of just describe uh, what we have here and we'll show give them a demonstration of what's going on. All right so along with my chiropractic studies I got very interested in uh, brain waves and pulsations that can affect and bring about relaxation and get people into a, a nice deep sleep relaxation or to even wake up their brain in the middle of the day and this machine does just that. It pulses with the same brain wave, with the br same uh, pulsations as our brain waves work, and it matches different brain wave states. And at the same time, you receive the benefit of PEMF to your body. So there are basic uh, what they call uh, frequencies, if you will, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma that deliver these energies differently. Yes. Okay, so can you kind of go through those as, as over here we have the delta down on the bottom. You'll see the delta. So delta is where we're at when we're sleeping. And so what I've done is I took this piece here, put it under my pillow, and then I took the mat portion and put it under my feet. And I actually pushed the sleep suite which goes between delta and theta okay delta is the deep sleep place and you you hear a little bit of a sound this is actually under my pillow and it, the frequency comes up and through the pillow and i it, it, it allowed me to sleep better than i had slept in a long time wow and it actually sleep changed my sleep patterns because i wasn't sleeping real well 
Now, interestingly enough, I've been using it for a couple of months as well. And uh, what I do is about the same thing. I put it under my feet. Mm-hmm. which helps me give have good circulation in my feet. At my age, I've had some circulation issues in my feet, uh, and the doctor says, well, that you, that's just your age. you know. Right, so, right. And so I put it under my feet, and then I'll do the same thing. I will also use the, the paddle uh, underneath my, my hips for the prostate as I, right. as I sleep as well, or I'll put it up on my neck. Okay. Just to keep my neck relieved uh, as I'm sleeping. But so anyway, so you start with the Delta is where you were. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's play that so they can hear that again. And so that's that's a slower pulse to match the the brain when the brain wants is sleeping. Now, if a person's having a hard time sleeping, this helps to induce the sleep and hold them in that brainwave pattern. Okay, so now what happens when we go to the go to the theta? Now the theta incre- increases the brain uh, the brain pulsations, and theta is that place right before you fall into sleep when you have that deep intuition when you when you go to bed with something on your mind and right before you fall asleep you get that answer, and it's that dreamy place right before you fall into deep sleep. I call it that yummy spot where you just drift off. Kind of like in a hammock on a Sunday afternoon. Afternoon. Okay, so I want to show the difference. Uh, give me a thumbs up, folks, if you can hear the. I'm sure you can hear the the clicking, uh, but I just want to want to make sure. So what I'm going to do is switch back to the delta, so they can hear the difference between the theta and the okay. delta. So there's the delta. This is for deep sleep, and that's theta. Yes. Uh, that that again is far just. Again, and you don't hear it, and you don't hear it loud like that when you're sleeping. Right, you don't hear it at all. <laughs> it's it's just because of the speakers on it. That's a good point. Thank you for <laughs> yeah. for doing that. Now I want to do. It's got a function that's right in the middle here uh, for sweep, and so what it'll do is it'll sweep through uh, both signals. So let me put it up there and do that. Now the benefit of the sleep sweep is when we sleep, we actually go between delta and theta quite a bit. We come in and out of it. I, I sleep with a uh, sleep monitor on, and it shows me when I'm in deep sleep, REM sleep, and light sleep. And it pulses throughout the whole night. So this matches that matches ah, that ability. Okay. And the benefit of this is it stays on for eight solid hours. Right. So you can put it on and be with it all evening if, That's if right. you will. That's right. Uh, in fact, I've kind of used it as a uh, alarm clock. If I get a good eight hour sleep, it goes off, and when it goes off, it you know it gives you the, uh, oh, I can't get, i got to turn it off up here. Ah! There, there you go. go. Okay, got it to go off. So it does that when it goes off, and then I know it's uh, time to get out of it. And you've had your eight hours sleep. <laughs> If I'm lucky enough to get eight hours, <laughs> eight hours sleep. Okay, so then the next area is right in the center uh, of the device, and that's the alpha. Tell us a little bit about alpha. Alpha is an amazing brainwave state. That's when you're in what we call the, the flow state. When things are easy, uh, you're, you're an artist and you're painting. You're not even thinking about your strokes. They're just happening. Uh, you're skiing down powder. Pain and time don't exist in alpha. Uh, as I tell people, when you you may have a sore shoulder at the top of the hill, but midway down, you don't notice what time it is, and you don't notice any pain because you're in alpha and you're in fl- complete flow state. This is also where we downregulate stress hormones and uptake serotonin. So alpha is an amazing brain state, and what's very interesting is uh, folks with ADHD and ADD are missing the alpha brain wave. They tend to be in theta or high beta. And you've noticed that if somebody has profound ADHD, they tend to either be very dreamy or they tend to be very intense trying to get something done. So they're either in dream state and in order to get something done, they got to get themselves hyper excited to push through not having the alpha, which would normally be the bridge um, brain brain state. And so they're, they're, they're into very hyper mode. So alpha is really good to help bridge the two and start introducing this missing brain wave to these folks. So ADHD can see some benefit from the alpha area. Absolutely. Okay, if I come to work and um, I'm just having a little difficulty focusing this morning, would I put the, put it on alpha and, 
uh, treat my back or, or treat my neck, where would I be there? Yes. You, uh, it, Alpha, let me put it this way. If you were having difficulty uh, getting things going, I would probably start in beta. In the middle of the day, I would go to alpha. Oh, to keep you going. Yes, because when you are in beta, that's when you're focused and present. If you haven't had a good night's sleep and, or something where you need to really be focused, you'd want to put it on beta, barring if you have ADHD. If you don't have ADHD, if you don't have ADHD, you want to go, go to beta. Now, in the middle of the day, our brain starts to really need extra oomph to, to stay in the game. What it does, it releases uh, stress hormones, norepinephrine and uh, you know, cortisol, things like that. And after pushing the brain for a period of time, the sodium potassium pumps come out of sync. And so it's really hard to think through things. And that's where you want to step down into alpha for just 10, 12 minutes. And you'll downregulate all stress hormones, you'll uptake serotonin, and you'll refresh your brain, and your sodium potassium pumps now are in sync. Okay, so we're gonna. I want to show what I kind of jumped ahead. There. No, you're good. So I want to show what the alpha sounds like. Yes. Okay. So that's just a pretty regular, straightforward, yes, type of signal. Mm -hmm. uh, now it also what you can see here is at the top uh, on this side is a area called subtle energy, and that is a constant PEMF therapy delivery, uh, pretty much in the Schumann resonance. Yes. Uh, that would be comparable. Actually, it's it's uh, ten times stronger than what you would get from a beeper, beamer, or a QRS uh, 2000 or an Imers, any of those types of machines. It's actually up in the 500 Gauss range when you've got these two going together. And I'm going to turn the subtle off, and now we just have the alpha going. Mm -hmm. Now it sounds a little differently because it it doesn't have the the PEMF along with it. When I put the PEMF yes. back in, it'll change. It'll change somewhat. But. And and the, the the subtle energy of the Schumann is one set pulse, whereas the alpha is pulsing up and down the, the scale. And that's why when I put it back on, you, it's fast and it yes. gets where it's at on the particular scale. So that's how the alpha sounds. Uh, now the beta you were saying would be to charge yourself up a little bit in the morning. Yes, in, in the morning. More in the more in the morning. That'll do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it sounds like that. Right. You know, it sounds like a charge. So that that's the beta. I wonder if I can go back to the alpha. Yeah. So there's the alpha. Yeah, and that's that steady pace where you just you're in the flow. That alpha, you know, ah, makes perfect sense. Beta, you want to get that brain working a little bit more. You need to stay focused for something. Um, you're trying to get your taxes done, and you're you're, you're nodding off. No, if I want to get my beta. taxes done, I need to be over here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there there's beta. Let me turn it off. Okay. Now, I know there's a lot of discussion. In, in a lot of this technology that we're dealing with, uh, it comes from our engineers in, in California, but a lot of this technology is coming from Europe. They've been using PEMF and these different intensity speeds and that type of stuff in Europe for some time. They might call it frequency or all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But gamma is something that in the United States we don't deal with a lot or we have not a lot as yet, correct? It's been, no. But it's more understood in, in Europe, so when we built this device, we included gamma. So tell us a little bit about gamma and, and how it's approached. So I've been doing a lot of studying on gamma because delta, theta, alpha, beta, very well understood. Gamma, they've done a lot of studies on monks who are meditating and they tend to be in gamma and they get to gamma. Uh, when folks are very stressed, they can also be in gamma. So it's a matter of the mind being able to handle that intense frequency and as you go up the scale, the the actual frequency isn't as deep. There's not the amplitude. It's it just fire. It fires a lot. It, it fires short, uh, shorter, not as deep, not as much amplitude. And so this is said to be gamma is more for that meditative state, um, deep deep understanding. Um, and then the other side of the coin is it's when the brain is really stressed. So if a person works in beta for a while and the brain gets up can 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 work with that then gamma will help to put them into a uh, 
a deeply meditative space, which is very strange because it's the opposite of delta, which puts you to sleep. You would think gamma would actually... So you could say meditative, but also could make you very focused on where, what you yes, might be thinking Yes, and about. I wouldn't go there right away until you've trained on beta for a little bit, until your brain is, is able to work at that high pace. Okay, so let's hear gamma. And you can tell. you got to be able to handle that. Right. And so now let's go to beta. Gamma. See, and you can tell that that's a, it's a real quick, and it doesn't have a deep amplitude. Now, what they can't hear here, and what's going on, is that in the background is that subtle, even in all the various uh, lary, layers, in the background is the subtle PMF energy. Yes. And this this subtle energy, which is at the Schumann frequency, is the same. It's it's been it's been said that our astronauts, when they leave the atmosphere, have this type have a generator to create that Schumann wave because it is it's the frequency of our ionosphere from our planet to the top of the atmosphere. Every time lightning hits the Earth, it releases a frequency. And this is the general frequency that we're brought into and bathed in. And so this helps to reground people because because we we work in high rise buildings and, and encased in cement and metal and almost creating Faraday cages where we don't get frequencies. Well and, and we wear rubber soled shoes like I'm wearing today and so we we we're not grounded we're not to grounded. the earth. So we're not getting the energy that we need from the earth as as we're walking. So this helps supplement that energy supplementation Absolutely. as I so often call it. Yes, and that's why it's so nice to have that in the background of all of these other great pulses. So it, what this what this delivers is it delivers the various speeds of delivery in frequencies. If you want to, frequency is how often the signal is delivered to match the mind's brain, right? In, in or the body's brain in the various levels to enhance sleep, to enhance stability, to enhance deeper thinking, to enhance deep meditation. Yes, or really into a cycle. When people have brain studies. They, they notice that the pulsations and then how many times it pulses per second or the hertz also correlates with a certain brain state. And that's how they came up with delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma. And then there's either ones, ones even higher like lambda, and uh, which is 100 uh, uh, beats per second. So what it's doing is, even though we're talking about the delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma, with the PEMF, it's all PEMF. There's PEMF in each one of these these areas of delivery, and so you get up into the to the 500, 600 Gauss range. So if it, what I do, if I'm, my back is bothering me, it, it, again, I'm playing with it at home to understand how to use it to sleep and to use it as I sleep. But I'm getting the the, the pain relief at the same time as I'm getting the the frequency of delivery yes. to help me sleep. Mm -hmm. And so that that is really cool. I had a guy uh, come in uh, last week. Uh, in fact, he's the person that helps make our face plates and all that type of stuff. And he had wrenched his back, and he couldn't hardly walk. I was at his office, and I said, "Come to the office." He came to the office, put him on, uh, I believe, the Pulse Pro machine uh, for about uh, fifteen or twenty minutes, uh, and that greatly relieved his back at that point and he felt better got up his pain was like at a five compared to a ten sent him back to his office with this the uh, neurowave b2 and he sat at his desk and treated himself i believe in the alpha or the theta area to relax himself a little bit and took it home and slept with it then the next day he was telling me it was just incredible that's how well he felt and how it gave him some relief now the difference was is he wasn't able to get back over here he had to go out of town so i said take this with you when you go out of town and he slept on it every night and helped maintain what he was mm -hmm. what he was dealing with and the great thing is if somebody's sore it helps to when they're sleeping that's the hardest time to sleep is when you're not feeling real good right and if you can support that sleep with a delta theta sweep now you help to keep them in sleep mode and when we sleep is when we repair ah that's when we drop when we're in delta we release human human growth hormone and that's when the body goes into uh, repair uh, remote and rejuvenation mode okay
So I got a question. Or is this, uh, Terry states, this is so interesting. At 55, I notice when I assume to be uh, age-related lapses in concentration as well as sleep disturbances. Any studies on reversing the effects of aging? Ooh. Great question. That's a great question. Well, I don't. I'm sure there are studies, Terry, that deal with being able to better deal physiologically with the aging process. What's going on in our body? But you know, if you sleep better, uh, you'll age more comfortably, or maybe yes. you won't age. You won't have the stress on your body that causes the age-related issues with the body. Uh, we'll do some looking to see. I know there are studies. There's a lot of studies dealing with the, the Delta Theta Alpha, and, and of course, Dr. Brandon can, can relate to that, and we will bring some of that uh, uh, to the table as well. And I've got a, uh, in which we'll put on this uh, Facebook page, an explanation that, that Doc has written up that talks about all the different uh, frequencies and, and, and the delivered here, the PEMF delivery speeds to, to enhance these particular uh, signals, uh, if you will, that you'll be able to download and read and, and learn from. Yeah. In my studies of anti-aging, the number one thing they want, they try to do is bring sleep back to the person. Because when sleep happens, you release that human growth hormone and everything repairs and it doesn't keep degradating, it actually builds itself up. So sleep is the absolute key. What I have noticed, and there's some things you're just not gonna, you're not gonna do. Uh, last night, for example, and I've noticed this several times in using this particular device, uh, testing it, if you will, uh, that I have a tendency, if my wife gets up or if I get up middle of the night, three o'clock, let's say, it's hard to get back to sleep. Mm -hmm. I would have to take my phone or take a book and read for a half an hour because I'm severely dyslexic and when I read, I fall asleep. <laughs> okay, so that kind of helps me there, but I'd have to sit there and physically read. What I do now is I'm able to lay back down and let the machine run and do its do its thing and I fall back to sleep. But what I've noticed is amazing is when I fall back to sleep, I'm asleep. I mean, yeah. you know, I woke up this morning. I normally get up at six o'clock in the morning, and I, I woke up this morning and it, uh, it, it was seven o'clock. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I got to get going. I got to do this program at nine with Dr. Brandon. But I was really deep, so that's what I've kind of noticed a couple of things uh, related to it. And I don't have to sit there and read for a half hour or yeah. so to, to get back to sleep. I noticed that I slept through the night better, and more than that, I noticed that I started dreaming again because I wasn't dreaming much. And although that doesn't sound like a big deal, we only dream in deep, deep sleep. So that told, I was doing more light sleeping, and when I worked with the Delta Theta uh, sleep sweep, it actually took me into deeper states where I could start dreaming, which was a great sign. Really neat. So if you have any questions about the device specifically, uh, the device is available now. Uh, it's not yet on the website. It'll be on the website probably within the next few days. Uh, it is really designed as an enhance, as similar to the Beamer devices and the QRS devices and the IRMS 2000s or whatever they are uh, that are very, very low gauss. So those things are in millitesla or milligauss. This is measured in gauss, so it's much stronger than those devices so you can get the pain relief and as part of what's going on here and you can also get some of the other areas of relaxation sleep and, and, and stimulation that someone may be looking for uh, the devices are thirty five hundred dollars uh, which is less than what a lot of the other some of those other things are six thousand oh, dollars to, to get a beamer or something like that and I'm not you know they, they all work they all do their job but you just got to look at what you want and, and what's your price range so on and so forth uh, so if you have any specific questions, simply put them up on the uh, in the chat box there, and Dr. Brandon and I will be happy to uh, answer them. Oh, that's not the one I want. Let's put that. We've already had that up here. Or if you'd like to call and ask a question or have a discussion with us, we'd be happy to do that. It's 502-599-9722 uh, to talk with you. I need to have a... Uh, a uh, sweepstakes to get people to, I just love when people call because we get the conversations get so because we're, we're talking back and forth and, That's and right. it just stimulates what you're going to say instead of just sitting there okay have we given them enough information on what we're talking, <laughs> talking about <laughs> or do we need to go yeah we need them to join the party we're boring but <laughs> yeah. after a while you and I run out of things to say we do <laughs> <laughs> hasn't happened yet I'm just guessing 
So, okay, so uh, if you have any questions, uh, simply uh, put them in there and we'd be happy to answer them at this point. I think we've covered it. Let's run through the, uh, we don't want to just be here forever, but let's run through the, the sounds again and uh, one more quick little go around as to what it is. So what I'm going to do first is put Delta on for deep sleep. Okay. And again, you won't hear that. That's right. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to uh, theta. Now I'm going to sweep between the two. And that's a great place for the for sleeping. Okay. So now we're going to do, I'm going to do um, subtle energy. That is the low level PEMF that's in the background all the time when you play or when you choose any of the other uh, delivery uh, speeds. So I'm going to turn that off. And we're going to do alpha. Now, for, as far as one other thing, the delta and the theta are designed to run eight hours. Doesn't mean you have to do them for eight hours. I mean, if you get home and you said, I, I just need to relax here a little bit, if you want to do the delta for 30 minutes, you could do that to give yourself some relaxation to go in mm -hmm. into your evening. So you can hear the alpha speeding up. Yeah, it's doing. It's going through its sweep. It's going through its sweep. So I'm going to turn the alpha off. We do have a question coming up. Let me finish these little things. So let me do beta. So that is to charge me up a little bit. Yes, get you going, get you get focused. Get going after, you know, okay. Now let's do gamma. Whew. <laughs> that is really working on the brain. What I've noticed is when you do these and you listen to them cycle through their, their things, see it's getting much faster. Yeah. And then it'll slow back down to the beginning of its run. Let's see if it'll do that here. Or it will do that, but let's see. I, think, I feel, hope you folks can, can hear this as it's running through its gamma and it should kind of come back. Here it comes. So it, as it sweeps through the various areas. What happens on these, the delta runs through a, a cycle. And that, and, the, and you'll hear the cycle. Again, Brandon's right, you don't hear that when you're doing it. This just shows us uh, what we're doing. So I can turn the gamma off. So let's go see, we've got a question here. Um, let me get rid of the number if nobody's gonna call us. <laughs> okay. This may have been answered at the beginning, but how do we incorporate this into a business? Uh, what are the treatment times? Okay, if you're if you're using it uh, as it's a very good question. Uh, if you're using it as part of your business, this could be something. Uh, if people are coming to you, let's say you're uh, uh, you're treating somebody and they have a lot of anxiety, but they've got a sore back. Well, you could use your machine, your whatever other MagnaWave machine you might have, specifically for the low back. While at the same time, you have the theta or the alpha going on to help them be focused in their body uh, mm -hmm. for what's going on. The high powered part of it gets rid of the pain and stuff that they're having immediately. This could be added as something to to go with that. What we've not discussed taking the paddle and putting it on one of the settings and treating the pole of a horse or how we might treat our own uh, pole or our own heads if you will. So there's a lot of things we want to learn but there are areas to incorporate it into an existing business. As I sent it home with this gentleman the other evening who had wrenched his back so severely and he was, came in here hardly able to walk, walked out of here at a four or a five and then used it overnight to help him get better and maintain his, the wellness that he was looking for, that's where it really benefit, benefited at that point. So, and the treatment times, the delta and the theta are designed to run eight hours if you want, that's during sleep, or you could use them for, as I just said, for shorter periods of time. The alpha 
the to maintain what's going on is a 30 minute treatment if you want to use it for 30 minutes and then the beta and the gamma are all designed to run 30 minutes so it would be a 30 minute cycle as far as as what you are treating but since it's brand new to the line we're also going to learn how to better implement it into our clinic that we have here at the office so we can better understand how to use it and share that with our practitioners as how to best work it into their practice. And this would be great for people that come in that are the A-type personalities, people that can't sleep, which so many of us have become A-type personalities because we are trying to keep up with the times. Now you've been using this for a couple of months uh, as you've traveled with the massaging beds. Mm -hmm. with with the loungers, with the loungers. And, and you've done this at the same time that someone's on a lounger? Yeah, so when we, there's been times I put it on the, uh, the lounger and the music goes into the lounger, hits the vibration generators and creates a sonic massage. So your brain is getting every, feeling the same thing as your body is. Every cell is moving together. Now when you actually direct the frequency, it helps when a person's relaxed, now the PEMF goes in deeper, does a nicer job, and mm. you start to reset brain states. So a lot of us are stuck in high beta, but for really stressed people, I put them in alpha. I don't want to take them all the way to theta because that's too big of a it's too big of a jump to come down from high high vibration, high stress to real chill mode. I want to take them just one step down into alpha and their brain will do that get enough traction with that for, with that pulse that it drops down and relaxes. Explain uh, to our to the viewers how uh, the the binaural beats how th something's going and one cancels out the other and you get the get the real benefit. Oh, okay. That that would apply here to some degree, would it not? Well, this would be more like isochronic tones. Okay. The binaural beats actually puts a high uh, if you if you wanted alpha, which is right around 10 hertz, you would put you could put 210 beats here and 200 beats into this ear through headphones and the brain cancels out the 200 and only reads the 10 hertz and then it puts people into alpha. This is more of a steady like metronome that does a sweep within the range of delta, within the range of theta and so forth. Okay, uh, great, uh, great questions folks. What attachments does this come with and where do you recommend placement uh, for different uses? And th that's really a very good question. It, it comes with the, the paddle that you can see here, and it comes with the the mat, uh, and it and you can run them both at the same time. There's a little adapter that goes on the back that allows you to run both uh, devices uh, at the same time. And where do you recommend placement? And so this is a good question that you and I have discussed somewhat. When people right. talk about supplying delta, where is the best place to do it to the body? Is it best to do it to the head? Is it best to do it to the to the torso? Or does it really make any difference? You know, I, I'm really big on, on whole body um, work. And so I that's where I was saying in the beginning, I, I put this piece under my pillow and I put this on top of the pillow and it fully comes through the pillow. And it's and the pillow I'm using is actually um, um, oh, you know, the, the memory foam, foam, memory foam. And so it comes all the way through the memory foam. And then I take this and put it underneath my sheets and just put my, have it for my, my feet to be on this. So now I'm getting both. Now, my guess is where I'd go with, if you only had one, you'd put this, but, but when you buy both, you might as well use both of them at the same time and get the whole body in sync. But certainly you want the, the, the brain getting the pulse. So there you have it. Now, it's interesting that if you put it on your feet, you still sleep, you still get it as it's, it's coming into your body. I'm going to say the reflexology aspect of treating your yes. treating your feet at, at the at the same time, but it can be used as as Dr. Brandon has pointed out. Put this under your pillow. I have an issue here on my neck, right here. I'm a pain in the neck to myself, and and it's right here on the left side that affects my left thumb, and so I will put the mat, the pad right at right on my shoulder. And then I have my feet on the on the larger on the larger pad. Now, if my back were bothering me, I really don't have any many back issues. I could put the large pad on my back. Yes, and, and do my low back 
or whatever at the same time. So there's many ways to use it and uh, and move it around. It's not fast like the the Semi, Wave Pro, uh, Maya, and Max machines. It's not fast, but it's very supportive. And so that's why the longer treatment times are here with this type of device. Great question, Terry. I hope that answered it. If, if, folks, if you have any other questions, uh, simply put them up there, and we'd be happy to uh, take a look at, them, look at them at this time. We've been here about 45 minutes, which is been a very interesting conversation. I really yes. appreciate your, your input because you certainly got more knowledge on this than I do uh, as far as how to approach uh, this type of application of equipment. Yes, at, you know, after I had had a uh, long practice, I understood that brain brainwave is one of the most important things to work with because when we can bring people from that high beta where most of us live <coughs> into the alpha and theta, the healing begins at a very deep level. Right. Oh, let's see. Let's get rid of one of the questions here. We have another question. Um, oh, Kathy asked the question, is there financing available? We do have financing options available, and we're adding other financing options uh, to the table as we, as we go along, as we discover how we can do that. But a quick answer to that would be yes, uh, that there are financing options certainly available to be able to uh, have this piece of equipment added at a very low cost being a $3,500 right. thing, it's not like you're buying a $21,000 or you're buying two or three different things. So <clears throat> certainly more comfortable in the area when uh, uh, financing is approached. Thanks for asking, Kathy. Any other questions, uh, folks, put them in there, and uh, we'd be happy to answer them at this time. Any thoughts that maybe that you'd share with us that, that we uh, maybe didn't get? You know, I, I do HRV testing on myself, heart rate variability, and it tells you your brainwave state. Oh, yeah. And there were some mornings where I had a lot of delta. I was basically like sleepwalking. And I couldn't get the brain going, and I put it in beta, and then I test I tested myself pre and post. And so I woke up. I was maybe awake for 20 minutes, and I still had a lot of delta. And I put it on beta, and in came more alpha and beta awakened brain states. So that happened. I did, I've done that twice on myself to test. So if someone's not a coffee drinker. <laughs> and they get up and they're still in oh man it takes me 45 minutes to get up and get going in the morning I really don't want to drink coffee or a lot of caffeine it's conceivable they could put it on uh, beta or alpha kind of charge themselves up getting go you know first thing in the morning and move right. forward what it does is because the pulse is in in whichever one beta or alpha it's a dominant pulse and the brain loves to follow the dominant pulse or frequency and so this is definitely a dominant pulse or frequency and then the brain wave follows it into wherever this leads it. Now so where we're going to go here so we just he's just shared how he shares and he monitors it with the heart rate variability device which is really cool we've talked about implementing those in some fashion as well so people right. can utilize that for their human clients but just take this a step further if you've got an older dog that, that's stiff and and so on and so forth and so in the morning it, the dog is still sleepy still you know you could conceivably put it on the mat put it on a little beta kind of charge it up a little bit see how it does same thing now, now, now I'm reaching here a little bit but could you take this mat put it on the on the top line of your horse or on the neck of your horse and and just get him a little bit let's you know juice him up I don't want to say juice him up but just it, it, get him moving a little happier awaken that brain awaken that brain thank you that's so, what we're looking for awaken the brain <laughs> here's so the better do his job here's the thing the body follows whatever the brain is doing when people are at a computer for six seven hours and the brain starts to get foggy their body feels tired you wake the brain up you put them in an alpha session and in the around two two o'clock three o'clock when that brain gets foggy the the down regulates all the stress hor hormones uptakes the serotonin the brain rejuvenates and the body feels great because most of us don't work jobs that actually tire the body out anymore but the body will follow whatever the brain feels so from that perspective to help us in the morning or to help us in the midday and I'm just thinking just right now from the aspect of the pole or the atlas of an animal uh, or a horse uh, or something like that to to give a very enhanced application there comfortably uh, is really something to uh, to uh, to think about. Here we have another question, and we're getting close on time here. But let's. I feel like if I slept better, I could grasp all of this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, uh, hopefully we're not putting them to sleep I know. either. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll get the level of support and training that we have come to expect from Magnaway. Well, the answer is yes. Uh, we'll, we're certainly here to provide that uh, level of support and training because it's a learning process for us as well. And that's where Dr. Brandon has been very good with us to help us. He's written a paper, uh, a small white paper that is very explain, explains this thoroughly. And then as we go, and that's the beautiful thing about what we're doing here, to be able to share. I mean, we've already talked about how we can implement this into your practice or into your family's health if you're using things individually for yourself and your pets and, and whatever animals that you might deal with uh, very effectively. And then we will all learn from what we share and what we uh, come together with. Absolutely. Great question, Terry. Uh, and uh, I hope I look forward to helping you sleep better uh, with, um, with MagnaWay. Well, what excited me about this product was when we very first met, I asked you about something that would work within the delta, within the brainwave uh, frequencies. And when you told me about this, I got really excited. Uh, I, then that's why I, would, uh, I took it with me and, and been working with it now for about two months now. Yeah, and it's been on the drawing board and, and in development at, at the factory for a couple of years. Uh, they've been working on it, but as they are, they want to make sure that things are pretty well pulled together, and he, and, and he pulls very heavily from Europe. What they're using in Europe when he goes to these conferences in Europe and learns about this stuff and brings things back to the United States that are far ahead of what some other things are happening, it, it's very interesting. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, oh, what's Aaron? Aaron's got something here. She's saying, "Can I be a test subject that time at the office?" Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Aaron. The uh, that's one of the Magnawave employees. That's right. So Aaron needs a little reinforcement during her nap time here when she takes a, a ten minutes. Yeah. Actually, this is a great thing to do for ten to twelve minutes. Uh -huh. You lay back, um, particularly on on one of the, on one of the vibration lounges. Mm -hmm. And you put it with with the with the sound vibration, and you put the frequency or the pulsation with this, and that combination is a home run. That's what I do. Great. I use it quite a bit like that. All right, Aaron. Thank you for the question. Okay, folks. Uh, I want to thank you for being here with us today. I haven't seen any other questions coming up at this point, and uh, we always enjoy being here and uh, answering your questions. We'll be back next week. We do need to get deeper into the uh, to the wave oasis, the the uh, beds and the massaging, which we're really mm -hmm. developing, and the light therapy that we're going to implement with yes. that as well. Uh, through the eyes. Uh, a lot of things happening with health and wellness and how it can be implemented into your practices and uh, things going on. There's another product that we're working with as well, very complimentary to everything that we're doing here at MagnaWave. So thanks for being here. If you have any questions this week or topics you'd like to see us cover, send us an email, call the office, and uh, leave a message. Uh, we'd be happy to address and cover anything that you'd like. So have a great day, folks. Thanks for Dr. Brandon, thanks for being with You're us. welcome. Appreciate Thank it. Uh, look forward to other things we need to work on today. So, folks, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.